All right, so this, uh, this is doing a cervical injection, and uh, I'm going to sterilize it with uh, some alcohol pad, the area. And your head, I'm going to have your head um, a little more straight than this. I'm going to have you positioned like that. You can put your hand down. You're, you're okay in that regard. Then I'm going to go ahead and, and take some painties, um, and I'm going to uh, spray this area around the C6, C7 area. It's, it's a little cold, a little chilly, but... Um, and then I'm going to go uh, put, do a little pressure with my fingers, a distracting pressure, and I'm going to go into this area parallel with the bed and uh, put that uh, inch and a half needle, uh, 25 gauge, all the way in, aspirate back, make sure you don't get any blood, and then you just um, inject slowly, relatively slowly, and um, one and a half ml, 1.5 ml. Um, now, this patient's had the cervical injection before. She actually uh, specifically requested to have the uh, cervical injection because she felt it worked pretty good last time. Now, I'm going to go ahead and spray the other side. And uh, on a scale of 10, she says her headache is uh, actually greater than 10. So, she's having a pretty bad headache right now. She's already had some Dilaudid for her sickle cell pain as well as some Percocets, and that didn't take her headache away, so we'll see if this works. Make sure I aspirate again, no blood, and I'm again, again going around C6 to C7, I'm going parallel to the bed, and that's, that's it. Oh,